have a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Can't be caring. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Can't be caring. Elation Radio. And here's your host. Another Sunday with us, with your boy Dre. How's everybody doing tonight? Man, I tell you what, it has been such a wonderful week. And here we are again for another Sunday with us with Dre. And now, thank you so much. You're too kind. <laughs> You're too kind. Yeah. We're, we're almost at a moment. 
I almost shed a tear. You know what? I say this a lot. I say it all the time. Matter of fact, I say it quite often, but I really do mean it this time. Not like I didn't mean it the last time, but the time before the last time that I said it was probably going to be the last time. I missed you guys, and I'm so glad you took out just a small amount of your time to share it with me for another Sunday with Nuts with Dre. Now, a lot's been going on, and I know a lot of people need help, and that's what I'm here for. That's what I do. I help people because I'm a giver. I like giving. That's just what I do. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity, this time to acknowledge Miss Kimmy Robinson, the woman of God, the visionary. I tell you what, she has given me such a great platform through Elation Magazine in which I can help people because that's what I do. Elation Magazine. It is growing bigger and better every day. Catch it now because pretty soon you won't even see it because it will be so far ahead of you. All right? Let's get right into it, guys. This first segment is called That Fit. I came up with this segment about three months ago, and I actually uh, had one of the church members that liked uh, liked it so much, they asked me to do it again. They uh, they really found it to be, I guess, informative, although they were laughing when they said it. Uh, so here we go with That Fit. Uh, the reason that it inspired me is because, you know what, sometimes it's all about association. It's all about recognizing things and identifying with things. It's a a play on words, if you will, but that fits. All right. Number one, that fits. A dwarf or a midget. You know what you got to do? You got to show them a little respect. See, that fits. They, They are a dwarf or a midget. So you have to show them at least a little respect. Number two, that fits. If we talking and you fart, you know what I'm going to tell you? That's gone with the wind. It's just gone with the wind. See, that's fart and that's a stinky wind. See, gone with the wind. In other words, get out of my face with that. Uh, Number three, that fits. Talk dirty to me. Okay. Hmm. How about this? Uh, Your house, your clothes, your bad breath. That's all dirty. Uh, number four, that fits. Why don't you take me out sometimes? Okay. How about this? How about I pick you up and sit you out on the curb with the rest of the garbage? See, I did take you out, just like I took out the trash. See, that fits. Number five, that fits. Oh, how do I look? Uh, duh. With your eyes, just like everybody else, stupid. See, that fits. That's how you look. I I don't see you you looking through your ears. Come on now. That's just stupid. How do I look? With your eyes. That fits. Number six. That fits. Tell me you love me. Uh Uh-uh. No. uh Uh-uh. No. Because I swore I would never lie to you. See, that fits. That fits. Uh, Number seven. Would you ever cheat on me? Uh, Only if I get caught. See, if if you don't get caught, it, it ain't cheating. See, that fits. Number eight, that fits. I want a hardworking man. Okay. Well, for your information, I've been looking for a job for the last three years. See, I've been I've been working real hard at looking for a job. See, that fits. Number nine, that fits. Would you drink my bath water? Uh, yeah, but only before you get in it. <laughs> See that fits. Finally, number ten, that fits. If I invite you in tonight, will you respect me in the morning? Honestly, I hope to be gone by the time you wake up. See that fits. See, see, if if she say, if I invite you in tonight, will you respect me in the morning? And then I say, honestly, I mean, honestly. I hope to be gone by the time you wake up. So you know what? It don't matter if I respect you or not. You'll never know because I hope to be gone before you even open your eyes. See, that fits. Again, I just want to help people, okay? I just want to help people because that's what I do. I'm a helper, all right? Oh, this next segment is Random Thoughts. Now, you know what? I love these random thoughts because you know what they're just saying. A random thought. They ain't got to do with nothing or nobody else. Just me. Why? Because they're my 
random thoughts. Didn't come from no ideology. Didn't come from any any information. I didn't have to Google anything. I did no research. It's just a random thought that popped up in my head. Okay? It's what I want to think about. Hmm. Number one, random thoughts. It ain't cheating if you don't get caught. See, it ain't. It ain't. Random thoughts. Uh, it ain't lying. If at least one of y'all believe it. See, ain't no lie. I don't care. <laughs> I believe it. Well, so what? That's a lie. No, that's your opinion. I believe it. So it's the truth to me. Random thoughts. You know what? It really wasn't a bad date if you were the one that didn't have to pay for nothing. I don't care how the date went. <laughs> if you didn't have to pay for nothing, it wasn't a bad date. Random thoughts. You can't be worthless. No, it's impossible. You can't be, I'm, I'm here to tell you, if somebody, call, no, look here, you can't be worthless if you good for nothing. How can you be worthless if you good for nothing? Because you are good for something. Nothing. Just a random thought. How are you going to be worthless and good for nothing? You are good for something. You're good for absolutely nothing. There's some worth in there somewhere. You just have to dig it out. Finally, uh, random thoughts. It's your fault if you catch a cold. Yeah, quit chasing it, stupid. Again, I just I just love helping people because that's what I do, and you're welcome. Uh, this next segment is a uh, segment that uh, I introduced um, almost two years ago, and it's called The Church Play Too Much. The reason why I came up with this segment is because, you know what, I got tired of going to church and, and church after church after church and visiting church, and, 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 and I'm telling you, it, it's, it's just with some of the stuff you see, you just realize that the, the world is supposed to resemble the church. You know what? And, and, and honestly, it does. The world does resemble the church. You know why? Because the church is deep into the world. And the church plays too much. Now, you know what could be? You go into a church that plays too much. Could be a family member. Could be a, a friend, a co-worker, a stranger in the street. Someone you sit at your local grocery store or at the bank. Somebody you pass as you're walking through the park on a beautiful, sunny day. I believe it's our duty and obligations to point out to people that, hey, man, <laughs> girl, please, quit going there. That church ain't about the Lord's business, Okay. They play too much. They can't be serious about God. Here we go. If you don't recognize any of these and any of the churches that you've actually been to or heard about, that's because all of them are your church. And you, please find another church. Here we go. The church play too much, number one. You know what? The church play too much. The pastor preaching in yoga pants. I'm not going to watch that. Oh, no, 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 no. Heck, hell no. You're not going to be standing in, in front of me and, and, and no man preaching in yoga pants, okay? No, Adam. I already see you got the snake with you. Anyway, uh, number two, the church played too much. Everybody on the praise team, men and women, wearing Days of Dukes. Wow. So you got the women with junk in the trunk and the men with nuts and bolts. Come on now. Y'all better quit screwing around. Anyway, uh, that was a play on words. Number three, the church plays too much. Why they have a COVID ministry for people they don't want to let back in the church? <laughs> you know, <what's> your... <sighs> stop playing with people. Please stop playing with people. Number four, the church plays too much. They allow you to pay your tithes with your food stamp card. If y'all don't run away from that church as fast as you can, come on now. Number five, the church plays too much. They charging you for prayer. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me I can't get blessed <laughs> unless I pay? So you ain't going to pray for, for God to do nothing good in my life unless I got some money? Come on now. No. This ain't no pay for pray. I don't want to go to that type of church. Number six, the church play too much. The pastor preaching in the pulpit with two big pit bull dogs guarding him. Talking about these my armor bearers. No, they ain't. They savages. And you're a straight up preaching thug. 
number seven, this church plays too much. The first lady laying on a futon in the front of the church. You know, that's just too much. I can understand wanting to be comfortable. But if she's laying on a futon couch in the front of the church, that's too much. That's really too much. Number eight, the church play too much. Look here. They won't let you bring a Bible in the church, but you can rent one from the pastor. Wait a minute. I can't bring my own Bible. I got to rent one from y'all? I bet I don't. <laughs> the devil is a lie. The church plays too much. I'm so sick of y'all. This next segment, I'll tell you what it's called. Tell me I'm lying. New segment, exclusive, right here. Premiere right here tonight on Sunday with Nuts with Dre. Man, I'm hitting y'all with brand new stuff. I'm telling you, whoo, the mind of a maniac. Uh, I ain't talking about me, though. Anyway, uh, I was inspired to uh, do this segment because you know what? <laughs> <laughs> that's some stuff that I see. That's some stuff that I've observed through this life. And I'm telling you, sometimes I have to take a step back and be like, did I really see that? Is this really happening? Is this a situation I've come across? Tell me I'm lying. Now, look, you tell me, am I lying? Number one, tell me I'm lying. Uh, people with bad breath don't respect nobody's personal space. Why is it that that person with bad breath always want to stand right in front of you, close, up in your personal space, and talk to you? No matter how you do it, you can lean back into your uh, waist about to snap. They still leaning forward. So wherever your face go, they face go. Come on now. Tell me why. Number two, tell me why. Most pit bull owners, most have worn or owned a do-rag in their lifetime. I'm telling you, tell me I'm lying. Most pit bull owners either have worn or owned a do-rag in in one point of their life. Come on now, tell me I'm lying. Number three, tell me I'm lying. People with funky underarms use their hands a lot when they talk. Come on now, y'all seen them. They just swelling and welling away, and you're like, man, if... If you don't put your, just please, put your hand down, because you are not sure. Number four, tell me I'm lying. People with furniture from Renna Center, they done had their stuff repossessed at least one time. You can't tell me that. You can't tell me that. You can, no, tell me I'm lying. People with furniture or electronics from Renna Center, they've had their stuff repossessed at least once. Because sometimes you got to get their attention. Uh, number five, tell me why. A lot of people who get welfare and food stamp, not everybody, but a lot of people who get welfare and food stamp act like they better than everybody else every first of the month. I'm not saying everybody, but there's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of y'all that you get your little food stamp and you you little government cheddar cheddar cheese. You, you, you think you're all that for at least a week and a half. Number six, tell me I'm lying. People in the hood keep a car that don't run in their driveway. At least, it's at least one car. They might get, they got a good car that <laughs> that get them from point A to B, but they got that they got at least one car, one truck that's got a big old oil stain on it, and one of the wheels is taken off, and all you can see is the brakes. Come on now, tell me I'm lying. This one right here. Tell me why. Uh, people with jacked up teeth, they got the loudest laugh. You can't tell me why. People with jacked up teeth, man, they laugh a lot. They neck snap back like a pass dispenser. Mouth is open as wide as can like a bear trap. Come on, man. People with jacked up teeth, they got the loudest laugh. Tell me why. You can't tell me because you know I'm telling the truth. Now, this next segment is a segment I tell you what it's uh, it's, it's called is that really positive? I like doing this segment because this is very caring. It's very informative. This exposes a lot of people for who they really are in your life. They're not friends, and they're not friendly. They don't wish you well. They hoping for your demise. They don't encourage you. They try and discourage you. Hmm. Even though they say it with a spell on their face, don't make it a good thing. Is that really possible?
positive. Number one, is that really positive? Girl, that don't look bad on you. Wait a minute, it don't look good either. What the hell? Is that really positive? Huh? Is that really positive? Number two, is that really positive? Uh, I mean, I, I wouldn't date him, but you should. Wait a minute, hold up. Wait a minute, you too good for him, but <laughs> I'm not. Is that really positive? So you think you're better than me. Okay. Number three, is that really positive? You may as well try it. I mean, it ain't like you got nothing else that's worked for you. Whoa. So you said my whole life has been a systematic display of failure after failure. Is that really positive? Number four, is that really positive? You know what, girl? I mean, I, I like that dress on you. Uh, just not on me, though. Oh, so you, you got a better body? Huh? So it's just, I mean, it, 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 it ain't good enough for you, but it's good enough for her. Hmm. Okay. Is that really positive, ladies? Number five. Is that really positive? Girl, you too picky. You need to lower your sadness. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold the hell up. Pump the brakes. Girl, you too picky. You need to lower your standards. What? What kind of freedom? Is that really positive? Number six. Is that really positive? I mean, girl, I mean, I'm surprised. You're doing a lot better than I thought you would. Wait a minute. So you thought I was doomed to be terrible all my life? So you had a, a lowered expectation of me. That I have exceeded, and you're surprised. <laughs> okay, that shows how much you really think of me. Is that really positive? Number seven. Is that really positive? Now, see, I like that hairstyle on you. Wait a minute. So you ain't like none of the other hairstyles, <laughs> but 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 this one you like. See, she ain't like none of the, all the other hairstyles. She ain't like. Thought you looked toe up from the floor, like Krusty the Clown, Boo Boo the Fool. Looked like you had your head stuck in a windmill or, or a ceiling fan. But since when she like, so all the mother times she just lying. Hmm, what kind of friend is that? Is that really positive? Number eight, is that really positive? Oh, girl, I can tell you really trying to lose weight. Wait a minute, she ain't, uh-uh, she ain't saying you, 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 you're losing weight or you lost weight. She says she can tell you trying. What does that mean? She can tell you trying. Not that you lost or you're losing, but you're trying. Is that really positive? Number eight, is that really positive? Oh, girl, next time you should let me do your makeup. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's she saying? Wait a minute. Uh Uh-uh. Wait a minute. (laughs) Okay. Okay. I'm uh, Okay. Next time you should let me do your makeup. Ladies, think about that. What is she saying about how your makeup looks? Is that really positive? Again, you're welcome. I'm helping you because I want to help you and you deserve to be helped. Now, this next segment is one of the staples of the Sunday with nuts with Dre. And I'll tell you what, oh, my goodness. (laughs) I love doing this segment because, honestly, it's – It's a segment that makes no sense to me. And you know what? I just want it to make sense to me. Because there are a lot of people out there that I feel that they're, they're just fools. They're idiots. They're stupid. They're just buffoons. Okay? But maybe they're not. Maybe it's just me. Maybe maybe it's just me and, and my lack of understanding. Okay? For what they're doing or, or, or the reason behind what they're doing. Okay? So it don't make sense to me. It makes sense to them. But it don't make sense to me. So instead of criticizing them and 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 berating them and 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 degrading them by saying how stupid they are, maybe I should just wait and approach them in a godly way and say, "Hey, could you explain that to me? Because it, it just seemed like something that a jackass would do, something that an idiot would do." Hey, make that make sense, okay? Because I don't want to think you living a life of stupidity. All right, here we go. Make that make sense. Number one. Uh, you trying to adopt a child and you homeless. 
talking about it's lonely out here. See, I did that right there. I did that right there. You know, I told the truth about that. You make that make sense. You trying to adopt a child and you homeless talking about it's lonely out here. So you want to bring a child into that misery? Come on, make that make sense. Huh? How are you better in their situation? Right. Make that make sense. I don't understand it. Help me to understand. Number two, make that make sense. You blind. And so is your seeing eye dog. Talking about y'all got something in common. So y'all both <laughs> yeah. So y'all both outside trying to cross the street like Frogger, the gay. Hoping a car don't hit you. Come on, man. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. I understand you and the dog got something in common, but I just don't think that's a perfect match. Somebody got to be better in the eyesight department. Make that make sense. Number three, make that make sense. Because it don't make sense to me. Uh, you find a suitcase full of money, you turn the money in and keep the suitcase. Come by, I need some luggage. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <sighs> Fool, you could have <laughs> you bought you some, You know what? It just don't make no sense. You're not stupid. You're not an idiot. You're not a fool. Hey, you're just not making sense to me. Make that make sense. Number four, make that make sense. You got a house full of mice, and you got a house full of cats to catch them. Talking about, oh, this is the battleground. Wait a minute. I, I don't understand. So now you got mice uh, duty, and you got cat duty all over your house. So, so basically, your house just stink. Tell me it's a battleground. Wait a minute. I just, I'm going to pump the brakes. Because, uh, Mice and cats don't get along, and the cats usually will eat or catch the mice to get rid of them. So that makes a little sense, very little. This one right here, Lord Jesus, makes that make sense. I'm fly. You refuse to take your driver's license test because of the instructor. I'm talking about your parents don't want you riding with strangers. What's the hell? Sit. Newsflash, your Uncle Peanut can't be your driving instructor, okay? He can't. You know why? Because his license is suspended. If you don't get in that car with this dude and let him do his job and get your license so you can get out into the world and better yourself and your situation, idiot, that don't make no sense to me. Help me out. Help me understand. Make that make sense. Again, all I want to do is help people because it's what I do, okay? This one right here. <laughs> I always love the I'm a thug. Why? Because that's what I am. I'm a thug, helping thugs. Better yet, I'm a reform. I'm a reform thug, okay? I'm a reform thug, helping other people to lead a thug life, to get out of the thug mentality. Yeah. See, a lot of people out there don't know they're a thug. They don't. A thug can be you. You could be the thug, be a thug. Could be a family member, could be a friend, a coworker, uh, a stranger in the street, someone you see at your local grocery store or at the bank. Uh, somebody you pass as you're walking through the park on a beautiful sunny day. I just believe it's our duty and obligation to point out to people that are living a thug life, operating in thug situations that, hey, uh-uh. That ain't the right way. You should want better, be better, do better, and you'll have better. Tupac lied. Heaven ain't got no ghetto, but hell do. You know what they call it? Hell. If you don't recognize any of these and anybody you know, that's because all of them are you, and you are straight thugging. Here we go. I'm a thug. Number one, I'm a thug. Mm, 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 mm. I rub. Homeless people for the practice. See, that's just that's a thug right there. Show this. Oh, that's show this. I'm a thug. I held up a food bank. See, that's a thug right there. Right, that's a that's a thug. They, they probably would have just gave you a couple of canned goods, but you had to rob the place. Wow. How much canned corn and green beans can one man eat? Number three, I'm a thug. I pepper sprayed the mailman for trying to put bills in my mailbox. That's a thug right there. Them your bills. That man trying to do his job. Leave that man alone. He got enough going on. Number four, I'm a thug. I got my tongue tattooed. So that's a thug right there. And, and you got a high threshold for pain. 
Yeah, that's that 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 right there. That that right there is definitely the mark of a thug. No, sorry, I'm a thug. I went to a massage parlor. I got on the table and said, "Don't touch me. Just let me sleep." <laughs> you stupid <laughs> idiot. But that is a thug. Number six, I'm a thug. I go to the soup kitchen and demand to see a menu. Wow. You just want to know what kind of soups they got to offer. I understand that, but that is a thug. Number seven, I'm a thug. I got braces on my dentures. See, that's 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 a, that's a straight up thug. I'm a thug. I practice stuttering. Wow. I don't see what good that would do. What purpose that would serve? But that's a thug, I guess. Number nine, I'm a thug. I bought my ex something for her birthday, and I wanted her to use it immediately. A cemetery plot. See, that's a thug. You ain't got no heart. Finally, I'm a thug. I handed out x lax to the kids last Halloween. Yeah, that's a thug. And you don't love the kids. Well, thank you for joining me for another Sunday with Nuss with Drake. Like I always love to do, I'm going to go ahead and press out of all I, I ask that all he is about, all out of clothes, unless, of course, you're blind. It really don't matter. Oh, Lord. Thank you for another Sunday with Nuts with Drake. Thank you for another opportunity to come together in fun, faith, and fellowship. Thank you for opening doors that no man can shut, making a way out of no way. Thank you for being a doctor in the sick room. Yeah, sound like you got a little cough. Thank you for being a lawyer in the courtroom. He guilty and he going to jail. Most of all, thank you for being God and God alone, for loving us more than we can love you or even ourselves. Now continue to bless us and keep us. We'll be forever mindful to give you the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys take care. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. And I can't wait. I miss you already. Can't wait to see you next Sunday. And it'll be more nuts with more Drake because I'm a little hungry. I'm going to eat me a little bite of something, put on just a little bit of weight. You guys take care. Be blessed and not stressed. And I'll see you when I see you. Good night. Come on, champ. Yeah. Don't worry about the crowd, champ. Don't worry about the side show distractions, champ. I want you to stay focused on your opponent. I want you to stay focused on the prize, champ. Look, keep jabbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep jabbing and keep sticking and moving, champ. champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick to the game plan, champ. Yeah. I'm a champion. Yeah, yeah. Stick to the game plan because we win it, champ. I'm a we champion, champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep winning, champ. I'm a champion. I'm a champion, yeah. you can't hold me down, I'ma get back up, let's go another round, I'm built for this, call me Duracell, facing trials on earth, watch me endure hell, I'm a champion, yeah. you can't hold me down, I'ma get back up, let's go another round, man I'm built for this, call me Duracell, facing trials on earth, watch me endure hell, I was made to do this, Game to me, miss. Nah. Take the breath out of beat. Bye. Like a kangaroo kick. Yeah. Ain't the same as you is. Uh-uh. I ain't as lame as you is. Uh-uh. Man, I got aim at that heart. As a rapper, aim at that lid. Bye. Bye. I was taught to handle my biz. Uh-huh. I was taught to fight through tears. Oh, yeah. I was taught to trust in God. Do that so I won't fear. No. And it's real clear that He won't send me to a place I shouldn't be. I'm a champion, got my hands high. Yo, no doubt I got victory. Yeah. I don't really think you're hearing me. Nah. Jesus all in my vicinity. Yeah. Covered, you can never get to me. Haters disappearing. Instantly, really into his divinity. Beautiful, just like a symphony. Holy Ghost, it just got into me. You think you ripping me? Gotta be kidding me, champion. Hey. I'm a champion. Yeah. You can't hold me down. I'ma get back up. Let's go another round. I'm built for this. Call me Duracell. Facing trials on earth. Watch me endure hell. I'm a champion. Yeah. You can't hold me down. I'ma get back up. Let's go another round. Man, I'm built for this. Call me Duracell. Facing trials on earth. Watch me endure hell. Keep on pushing. Yeah, they call me Rocky. As Apollo Creed. Man, them guys won't stop me. I'm feeling great. Cause my coach is greater. I'm ducking shots and uppercutting haters. I'm off the ropes. Time to bob and weave. I'm in the center. I know they watching me. You can't count me out. When he count me in, I got both on up. When the round in, been chose to fight before my mama push. Yeah, I came out swinging, had the devil shook. Yeah, I've been training. I'm a heavyweight. 
and it's been raining, but I got heavy face stamp. I'm a champion, yeah. you can't hold me down. Uh, I'ma get back up, yeah. let's go another round. Hey. I'm built for this, built. call me Duracell. Uh-huh. Facing trials on earth, watch me endure here. Hey. I'm a champion, yeah. you can't hold me down. I'ma get back up, uh, let's go another round. Hey. Man, I'm built for this. Built. Oh, call me Dirt Cell. Yeah. Facing trials on earth, watch me yeah. endure hell. Win it, win it, win it, win it. Ain't no chicken dinner, just blessed hands for righteous living. Wrote it because I visioned the blood, my ammunition. Pleaded for many reasons, but needed for my allegiance. No conversation corrupted, my soul won't grab a seat. We talking edification, my soul ready to eat. Yeah, get them, champ, my signal for wicked coming up skeet. Camouflage for you haters, but always ready to preach. Papa Willie, I'm stunning Jehovah running the streets. The Charges mandated and bracing for the increase. Family matters, they sponge it won't generations to see. Crawl before you walk it, a saint's ready to leap. Glory tucking the sheets, lurker sipping some tea. You stay running with enemies, probably in it too deep, champion.